Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Laffy Tunes. Here are 10 unpopular opinions about BoJack Horseman. Number 10, it should have ended with season 5. Season 5 ended on a positive note for BoJack, and the season finale he voluntarily went to rehab and admitted that he needed help. A minority of his fans thought the show would have ended right there. You underscore Buzz said there is no happy ending to BoJack Horseman, but this is the closest we'll ever get. It's true. Things took a turn for the worse in season 6. Number 9, no love for Holly Hawk. Holly Hawk is one of the characters that Bojack hurt the most, so most fans agree that she did the right thing by setting boundaries and cutting him off out of her life. Badger0990 thinks that she would have forgiven Bojack instead, and even more radical Holly Hawk related unpopular opinion is that she wasn't all that innocent after all. Gentle Loud, for example, claims that Holly Hawk forced Bojack to take in his abusive mother, and the burger lover agrees that Holly Hawk inserted herself into every situation that was about Bojack. Number 8, it should have been Ralph, not Judah. Even though Princess Carolyn and Judah are considered one of the best couples on Bojack Horseman, Pope Cerberus thinks that she should have ended up with Ralph Stilton instead. They are not alone in this unpopular opinion either. It's not that Judah isn't good for, enough for PC, after all, he's one of the most likable characters in the entire show. It's just that their relationship came out of nowhere and the two shared no chemistry whatsoever before Judah confessed he loved her. Number 7, Bojack sleeping with Emily wasn't a big deal. Most fans agree that Bojack was a horrible friend to Todd. He ruined his rock opera, left him in prison, and slept with his childhood friend and romantic interest, Emily. Some fans think that Todd was too hard on Bojack and should have held Emily accountable as well. It was a smaller deal than it was made out to be, and it's pretty hypocritical of Emily to be self-righteous about what a bad friend Bojack is to Todd about it. You had just as much sex with Bojack as Bojack did with you, girl. Number 6, Paige Sinclair and Max were delightful. Most fans weren't crazy about Paige Sinclair and Max when they were first introduced. While there are countless posts about how insufferable they are, some fans, such as Christopher Ainsworth, agree that they were great additions to the show. Likeable or not, those two drove a plot forward as the end crept closer. If it wasn't for them, the truth about Sarah Lynn's death would have just been swept under the rug. Number 5, Vincent Adultman is overrated. Vincent Adultman is often considered one of the funniest side characters, but Lazy Lab Rat thinks that the show wouldn't be missing a whole lot without him. The three kids stacked on top of one another had a few good moments, but this running gag went on for a little too long. The quizzical adult man was introduced in season 1, which is why many fans considered the show's weakest. Number 4, Wanda wasn't a great girlfriend. In season 2, Bojack found his perfect match in Wanda Pierce, an owl who woke up from a long time coma and had no idea who he was or how the modern world worked. Most fans liked her instantly as she seemed to be a good influence on Bojack, but Kitty begs to differ. Her behavior is reminiscent of the beginning stages of dating an abuser in my opinion. She insults Diane, she tries to force him to go on a vacation, and didn't even listen to a word he said on that TV show he did for her until it was something that she could freak out about. Number 3. Who is responsible for Sarah Lynn's death? Most fans agree that it's predominantly Bojack's fault that Sarah Lynn died, but Avatar for real begs to differ. They list all the things that make Sarah Lynn such a tragic character and claim that Bojack only blamed himself for not calling the ambulance fast enough. But the majority of fans didn't let Bojack off the hook so easily. The fact of the matter is that his actions dramatically contributed to her death. Meanwhile, another minority of fans thinks that her mother is mostly to blame. Number 2, the ending is too idealized. There are two distinct camps in the Bojack Horseman fanbase. Some think that the show would have entered the view from halfway down while others adored Nice While It Lasted. The Scout Man had an issue with the show's finale. Everyone got fairy tale endings, at least compared to what they should have gotten except for Bojack. Many in the thread agree with them, especially when it comes to Todd and PC's character arcs. Number 1, Todd is not all that great. Todd is generally considered as the one inherently good main character and the main source of comic relief in the show, but many fans seem to share an unpopular opinion about him. Todd is not as important, likable, or funny as the majority feels that he is. Really cool dad called out his negative traits, lazy, aloof, and mooch. He's often not taken seriously while other characters are held to really high standards. La Faca added that the storyline about his mother and Jorge was boring. The most radical unpopular opinion about Todd is that he is the worst character as explained by Buff Halo Soldier. Their post was upvoted by 39% of readers. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.